I'm Liv Kenya and my friends and I are traveling from Nairobi, Kenya all the way to Cape Town, South Africa. You're using the garden route, using this car. This is our story. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us in this adventure. We are currently in South Africa, which is our sixth out of the nine countries we'll be touring in this road trip. So stay tuned and enjoy. We are on the N8 road and we have just fueled in Shell there. Power. Hey, it's nice to be in South Africa and Botswana. Fuel is quite cheap. It's right uh, per liter. It's around two nine. V power. V power is what they call. I think of ten ninety five. And we're heading toward Marseille. The customer service in the Shell petrol station that we've been is top notch. Shout out to Masuli, and he's given us. We've been saying Maseru but now <laughs> telling you pronunciation in South Africa. We're used to Maseru to calling it Maseru Now he's saying Maseru we are like um, 133 kilometers away and we are still going of course we are using the google map you see this is our guide have a local sim card and you'll buy that and it'll be sorted Right ahead of us, others on my side. 
alarm chakalaka and their pub is just on point Adia says South African chakalaka is better than the Botswana chakalaka yes. Much much better, very yummy I can't wait to be back to that street vendor to take Brian again <laughs> Have you seen that beautiful hill? I don't know if it is a hill or a mountain, but all I know is that it is beautiful and it's so huge. And also, oh, one thing you've realized, just after every big farm, there are some shanties. They look abandoned right now, and our explanation, what we think, that is what we think, me and my group here, what we think is that those are work, people who work in those huge farms, they take care of the cattle, probably they take care of the crops in those very huge farms. So they are the workers. They live somewhere close to the road where they can easily access the means of transportation. And right now, they, they, have, they, they are like small villages. They, are, they look abandoned because probably they have gone to work. That is our explanation. Meanwhile, we are enjoying the views. guys have you seen the views have you seen the views i wanted to fly the drone but i don't know why i'm having a problem somehow but i'll resolve it before i um, uh, before i return from maseru so that when tomorrow i'll be passing through here you guys will be able to see the view of this place it's beautiful the hills down there there's a valley oh, and there, there are some people behind us apparently this is a common place for people to come and relax and have fun there's a couple there who are having fun. Hakima Penzi wewe. I've seen today on this road I've just been screaming 
and screaming and screaming. I'm telling you, God is such a wonderful God. If he created all these things, he's the master architect eh? of everything we know. Everything. So we are approaching Maseru border. Or Maseru, the city, and also the border. Uh, we are like 5.5 kilometers away. Wow. Now that there goes in. You can actually see some houses on top of the hill. How often do you see Buddha city that is also a capital city? It's not very often. So this must be a very unique city. I've been talking about Maseru, Maseru, Maseru. Maseru is the capital city of Lesotho. We used to pronounce it as Lesotho, but apparently it is Lesotho. So we are, we are getting into another country. We are in another country. You see the way they usually say a story within a story. Now that one is a country within a country. <laughs> uh, if you look at the map of South Africa, you'll see that Lesotho and Eswatini are within South Africa, but they are independent countries. They are republic of their own. They are like they have their own sovereignty. So we are approaching Lesotho. So guys, have you ever seen a migration process where it is, where it is just a drive-through like this one in Africa? Your country is so beautiful. Like we said, South African cars. I don't know. This is South African, don't it? Yes, this is South African free state. Yes. Have you seen their cars? Oh my God. I just had to take a break from that. So guys, we've had the most seamless border clearance ever. It is like a drive-thru. You see the way you can go to McDonald's or Chicken Inn to order your food and you just wait for it as you go? It's like that. You don't yeah. leave your car. You don't leave your car. Yeah. For the people who live in Maseru and work on the other side? Yes. Ah, yeah. Ah, that's... Let me tell you something about the border. Our border process was very fast. What we've realized is that in, in, when, once you're in, in South Africa, when you're getting into Lesotho, you don't have to clear the car. You can only declare if you have any commercial goods only. But the car for temporary importation, the one you got at the border when you're getting into South Africa is the same one that is used in, in, in Lesotho. So ours is valid for six months. Now, something else, uh, you'll pay 80. Runs for the bridge toll. It is the only toll that you'll pay in Lesotho. Once you are there, once you cross over, just outside the border, you will get to. You'll see so many agents who who can register for you SIM card. So we've taken Econet and and border. We've just taken the two lines for our own uh, convenience. So so that in case one won't be working, the other one will, and then you'll buy some airtime. We're actually getting into now. We are now getting into Lesotho, and something else. We we've been told that their favorite food, like their local food, their local delicacy, is tripe and pap. We tried finding tripe and pap. It's it was around three. Right now it's four. It was around three, and it looks like we were a bit late. We could not find any. So we've just taken the usual. Uh, we've taken some pork brai. Yes some pork brai, chicken and and beef stew and we are eating it with some pap we love pap yeah we really love pap so we are on our way to a first destination but we are thinking of doing maybe a, a short a brief tour of the city before we continue with our journey but ensure always you get a sim card so that you can you can access the internet and you can know where you are going that their Africa. food is better than South the Africa. Beef is so yummy. The beef is nice. Yeah, it's so delicious. Which which beef? The beef stew. Beef yeah, stew. you have no idea. Hey, now you people are it's giving so me a problem. Yummy. Now the way I'm, I'm driving and you're talking about yummy food and they my, my stomach is so hungry. South African, but theirs is well cooked, and they didn't lie. Not spicy. Uh, 
uh, you people yes. don't finish mm. the food. I have to try their food. Mm. Actually, the beef is very soft. Yeah, it's so sweet. Mm. And and, mm. and it was, it's actually really nice. It's not well now. Yeah. Spicy. It's nicely Super natural. Sweet. Mm. So we are getting into the city. Maseru city. Oh, looks like a proper city. Let's get closer. Yes, that is the view as you get into the city. So this is our first time here. So we don't know most of these streets. We'll just be driving around and letting you guys see what we also see. And if you're just joining us for the first time, we are in Maseru, Lesotho. Maseru is the, is the capital city of Lesotho. It's right at the border. It is the first city I've ever come across that is right at the border between two countries. It is at the border between South Africa and uh, Lesotho. So in Lesotho, we expect that we'll see a lot of hills, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of what? Meandering roads, because it's one of the countries that is in one of. It's called what? It is the, the what? The, the kingdom in the kingdom in the sky. Yes, it's called the kingdom in the sky for one reason. Because it is one of the of the kind of the few countries that are in very high elevation. Over a thousand meters. Yeah, over a thousand level. meters above sea level. See the potential money holds in your hands, net bank. <laughs> <laughs> These sides, uh, and you do not have a car, do not worry, because we've seen a lot of taxis from the border. We've not asked for their rates, but there are plenty of taxis. You see even this one, it's just right from the border, you can go around the, the town or any other destination you'd like. So, it's been written Parliament Road, so let's go and see. What the parliament is. Pastures. The, their number plates are by far shorter than the ones we've seen in South Africa. I think the ones in South Africa are usually longer because they you ha they have to indicate the the initials of the state where the car has been registered. I've just seen Parliament Road and I thought that there are government offices in this direction. So I'm just following. Here in the city, the roads are not as good as the ones we saw in South Africa. But we'll go beyond the city and see how good the roads are. You'll see the difference between Lesotho and South Africa. Look at the type of cars that they have. They have smaller cars. Yeah, they have smaller cars as compared to South Africa. Do you know that the population of, of Lesotho is very close to the same population uh, as Botswana? Botswana, yes. And just look at the size of the two countries. Yes, it's it's very populated actually, considering the size. Of the yes. Country. Wow. Began to see the hills in Lesotho, <laughs> in Maseru. Right. Huh? The flow is right about the Hondas so far. Yeah, they, I've seen Mazda, Toyotas, and the Hondas. The Honda. This looks like the industrial side, right? I can see some warehouses.
so bad. So there are two dams, huge dams in Lesotho that actually supply water to most of South Africa, even in Pretoria, in um, Midrand. Mm -hmm. They were telling us that they're using water from, from Lesotho. Lesotho. Yes. So they call it white, white gold. The white gold. Yes. It's one of the largest, do we say suppliers of water? Yeah, we would yes. say that. Now we are going to Mohale Dam. This is about 63 kilometers from Maseru. There's another one, Katse Dam. If you have time, it's about 255 kilometers from the city. You could consider going there as well. It's a very beautiful Katse Dam. But now we are going to Mohale. It's equally beautiful. It is. And I think it's the second largest dam in Lesotho. Yeah. Uh, from where we are right now, it's almost 89 kilometers away. We are just worried about this jam. I hope at some point the jam will be okay. Look at that. You see the, that entire red? That is just proper jam, proper traffic jam. So we are hoping to get there in good time so that we can be able to access it. We've been told that it is accessible to the public. This is the outskirts of the city, I believe. Yeah, because I've seen a lot of residential areas. A lot of residential areas. And most of them, they are not even afraid of building their homes on the, on the hills. There are so many residents. I'm sure they're not scared of the hills. They're just, they should be like Rwanda. Yeah. Yeah, even Rwanda and Uganda, they just build their houses on the hills. at the number plates here on the cars, on the Lesotho cars, they are very, very short. They are five, five, like some of them are up to five digits. I've been told that the, the official language here is Setsuan. It's called this looks like humps, the two humps of an animal. Look at that hill. Bought six pitches at 25 runs. Apparently, the exchange rate for all runs and and no, it's called Loti. Maloti. And 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 uh, Lesotho Maloti is just one to one. Currency here is a bit fluid, so you can use any. You can either use the runs or you can use Maloti. I'm learning. I'm really learning. What I can say is, pitches are overrated. They are. You agree? I agree. I actually thought you, say, you said it was in the apple family, mm -hmm. but it tastes nothing like apple. It but it looks plum, like it. Plum family. Yeah, yeah maybe plum family. Plum. Now, something else that I noticed when I was driving. Uh, Kafila told us that people in Botswana, in, sorry, people in Lesotho never leave their blankets behind. 
and we have seen some shepherds they are even it is very warm look at the way i'm dressed it's very warm but they're just covered in their blankets <laughs> eh? no it is true clearly they love their blankets but the ladies they, okay let me just say the southern part of africa clothes are a bit uh, skimpy maybe not skimpy but too short more sexy more they show more skin than we do but the guys like right here they cover themselves properly look at that view so jen is our co-driver they just exchanged and then i'll be having my meal right here so some peaches and some pork and pub for lunch late lunch just here screaming i can't even believe just look at that again i can't even believe what i'm seeing they just mountain formation after mountain formation after mountain formation some gorges some uh, water bodies i mean hey there are so many of them and by the way guys when you come to these sites hey, ensure your brakes are good because oh my god okay yes let, let's first of all let's enjoy that view <laughs> can't even explain the kind of excitement i i feel right now the roads are there are a few portals here and there but the roads are well labeled so you just as long as you've been to a driving school you'll be just fine like i was saying before you take uh, you decide to do this trip ensure that your brakes are really good because there'll be these hills valleys mm -hmm. you'll be climbing and descending here and there hey, dear. Huh? look at that view oh my god this is just out of this world
think this is a route loved by riders. I've seen some moto, very new moto, motorcycles on those two, two pickups, and our ears are already, are already feeling the pressure. We are going very high, our ears are already feeling the pressure. This future is actually called Nazareth. Oh, 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 I can buy Oh, Nazareth. guys understand why it is called a kingdom in the sky now let me tell you guys what happened they say that there are two dams we, even from our research there were two dams one was 60 kilometer from the from Maseru and then there is this one that was very far now we said because we do not have much time we should go to the one that is 60 kilometer from the city center from Maseru city center <laughs> and then Adi was the one who put the map, <laughs> and then now I'm just following it as the driver. Adi had put the one that is very far, with with the the one which is more scenic and, and the one that is the farthest. And then right now she's saying, no, I thought I'd put the one that was 60 kilometers away. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a viewpoint. Yay! There's actually a viewpoint. Praise the Lord. So there is this picture from here. Very nice picture frame with very nice photos let's see if i can get a better view of the bird <laughs> just look at that you see the meandering roads You're running. Have you seen that view? Welcome to our room for the day. So, we'll be staying in this very beautiful room, just somewhere in the middle of the mountains. Look at this. This bed is so big. I don't think it's even, I don't think this is even queen size. This is even king size. And then say, welcome, you are happy. You are here. Let us know if you need anything. Hmm. Some chocolate. Wow. 
So guys, let me give you a brief tour, like seriously. Now, uh, there is a study area for two people because it's meant to accommodate two people. There's a study area here and there's another one there. You see it shortly, which is also the counter where you can do, you can make your coffee and stuff. And then there is this storage space. You can put your bags here and then here you can put your, you can hang your, shirt, your shirts or your coats. Now, let me show you something that I've just discovered. I'm just showing you because I've never seen it before. I'm sure some people have never seen it before. It might be normal to you, but to me it is not so. Like this. Mm -hmm. And then when you return it, you just, I just fix it back I just to that hook. It's like that. Yeah, this is how it looks. Wow. There's nothing like Ushamba. Ushamba is what? Backwardness. We all we learn. Every yeah, day. you so learn if something like every day. So if it is new to me, just admit it is new to me. I don't know how to use it. And then you learn. Next time you'll be better. Mm -hmm. And you take someone else. So it's good to learn. Yes, you're learning many things right here. Yeah. <laughs> Lesotho is very cold and we are somewhere in the middle of the mountains. I think it's called the Nazareth, Nazareth area. It's very cold. So this place is very cold. And because of that, look at this. There's some firewood here, there's some coal. So we're going to lay some fire. So that we cannot we can warm up the room. It's a bit cold, but you'll be fine. There's also a heater here. Everything is catered for. In fact, it's, it's already warm. Yes, you can make your coffee here. Creamers, coffee, tea. I need to try their tea. I'll never try this kind of tea. And the balcony leads you to a very refreshing uh, view, view that you'll be able to see during the, the day. We will show you in the morning. It's in between mountains. There are so many trees. And you can hear the river flowing. And to me, that's so refreshing to the soul. It's Actually, you can do some just... hiking. You can do some hiking. There's, yeah, a, there's waterfall. a waterfall up there. Yes. So you can do uh, I can't... if you have time. Yes. Yeah. It is an electric blanket. I'll be sleeping in. Actually, the one we, we. Yesterday, we also slept with an electric blanket, but it was not working. I hope this one will work. I can't wait to try out electric blanket for the first time in my life. There's always a first time. It might be normal to you, like I said, whatever you think is so normal to you is very new to us. They also have a bathtub. Ooh, so if you need to, look at that. Provided you the shower gels. Yeah, the shower gels, towels, and all that. It's well, well, well equipped. So guys, I can't wait to show you the view of our, of our the view from our balcony and it's the view of this beautiful. entire place. It is so beautiful. What's the name of the of the of the of the hotel? We had no plans of staying here. We were supposed to go and check out the dam, and then we go back to today. We were supposed to sleep at Kols Kolsberg. Kolsberg yeah. Yes, but while we, we came in, okay, we came in late. Yeah, we came in late, but. At least while we are on our way, we found a solution to our mini luggage. You've seen that we are right now we are sitting a bit uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like in the since, since yesterday, we are sitting a bit uncomfortable, but we found a solution. I told you guys 30 runs per kg. That is how much you need to uh, to send your stuff from South Africa to Kenya. And we are so happy about that. But you have we have to go back to Kosberg because we the the main office of Ma, Mafasa, I think Ma, Masafa. Masafa. Yes. Logistics, logistics is in Johannesburg, so the only place you can send it from is is, Long is Long Fontaine. You send it to their office and then they send it back home. Now we have not yet seen the dam, but we'll see it tomorrow because this we are left like around 35 kilometers to the dam. Imagine the entire time we were just going while enjoying the views of the mountains and the valleys and the beautiful sceneries. But at the same time, you know, in the when you're climbing and and going down the hills, you cannot overspeed. So we just found it a bit safe to come and stay here and just relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and relax for for the night and then tomorrow we'll go to the dam and then we'll go back. But at least we've shown you guys a glimpse of the up country. You've seen those guys who cover themselves with blankets, it's because of this cold. But unfortunately, even when there is too much sun, they're still with their blankets and their hats. Their hats just they look like a skimo. Their hats cover the entire head, you just see the eyes. In Kenya, we call such kind of hats moshori. <laughs> yes, they, are, they have moshoris and they are blankets even when there is too much sun. When looking after their cattle and, and, and goats. Yes. Now, something else, guys. Something else that we are told about Lesotho. Be careful of the meats that you eat. Just ask which kind of meat that is. You need to confirm whether it's beef, if you eat pork or whatever. Because apparently, they, we were told 
we have not seen but we were told that they eat dogs they eat cats they eat yeah they, yeah they eat crocodiles so if you might be allergic to that or if you're it's not your cup of tea you need to be careful that is why you need to ask and don't buy meat any anyhow on the road we've seen some shikaki some shikaki are like skewer beef in skewers we've seen we've seen them on the road but we could not buy because we're not sure which kind of meat that is i would really like to try but mm -mm. i'm not trying something i'm not sure of but there are plenty of their pears their um, peaches mm -hmm. and even there there's something else guava yeah they even sell guavas on the road so those ones you can buy just remember you're african if you're not african remember you're in africa always bargain you'll always get a better deal even for this room we bargain we were told how much 750 mm -hmm. but we bargain up to we bargain up to 700 rands, rands yes rands and low maloti maloti rands and maloti and any of the of the currencies work here mm -hmm. yes they do even when mm -hmm. you swipe their cards, they, they charge in runs. South Africans run. They don't they don't charge your card on Maloti. I don't know why, but they will charge on runs. Even their prices are in runs. Oh, okay. So they hardly use their currency, I guess. But you have a few notes. I gave it away. Why did you give out? That is a souvenir. We will get one more tomorrow. Yeah. We will show you how the notes look like. Yeah. We, we need to have souvenirs for every country. So this is account number eight. Seven. Seven. Tanzania. You're not counting Kenya. Kenya, Tanzania. Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia. Zambia. Botswana. Zimbabwe. Botswana. South Africa. South Africa. Lesotho. Yes. 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 This is our country number seven. seven. And we are enjoying our dinner. I'm telling you guys, I've had a treat today. The best views I've seen in a very long time. Thank you, Lesotho. Pictures. And the best pictures. Thank you, Lesotho, for being so beautiful. And thank you, God, for creating such a beautiful country. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are still excited for the journey. If you are joining us for the first time, this has been our journey from Nairobi all the way to Lesotho. Right now, in Lesotho, we'll be exploring South Africa some more, but we are just... I thought Kenya and Tanzania are the most beautiful countries, but after I have seen Lesotho and South Africa, they can, they have, they can, it's called, it has given them a run for their money. Yeah. Yes, they have a proper, a proper... Challenger. Their landscapes. The landscapes are out of this world. They are so scenic. They are so scenic and we can't wait to show you guys. I'm just excited for this journey. And somehow I'm pumped right now. I don't know why I'm so excited. It's just it's like something was just pulling me back. Right now I'm so excited about the journey. I don't know why, but praise the Lord. So that uh, seven hundred per room, we've taken two rooms. Seven hundred does not include breakfast. Breakfast is almost one fifty. Mm -hmm. 150 runs per head so this is what we decided because we've eaten quite late we'll just do some snacking thank god we have some coffee there tomorrow we'll get our coffee we'll decide on whether we'll take breakfast but we intend to have a proper meal of course you know what a proper meal is we must try their tripe we must try the, uh, their tripe and uh, pap yes we must try their tripe and pap and any other traditional food they have before we leave the city the city is a small country and I feel like we have transversed the country somehow. Mm -hmm. If we've not gotten to the center, we have gone some distance to see how the up country looks like. But other than that, we love the country so far. So guys, the journey continues. Stay tuned and let's warm our room now. We're just knocking and sleeping hungry. But look at the ship. Yeah, we're paying for this ship. We're paying for the ship. Then it's not that oily, which is a good thing. We're just paying for that ship. Honestly, we're going to sleep hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we're used to pop. So guys, the journey to Cape Town, South Africa continues. Stay tuned for more episodes that are coming in the next couple of weeks and please like the video and also share it with your friends and family. 
If you're joining me for the first time, welcome aboard and please consider subscribing to the channel because there'll be more awesome content coming through. Bye!